invited to join us on a reverse two-and-a-half-day trip on board the beautiful Apollo out of 22nd Street Landing, departing June the 11th at 10 a.m. Wow, does that give us incredible range, and returning 7 p.m. on June the 13th. This is going to be a great fish. It's got all kinds of possibilities from bluefin tuna to white sea bass to halibut and so much more. Friedman Adventures Charters puts you in the fish. Make sure you text us today so you can get on a trip and you just might catch the fish of your dreams. Friedman Adventures Charter, 657-227-6459. What a fish! Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, here in Southern California, where we are getting ready for the MB. And man, what an MB we've got for you here this morning. The bluefin tuna chewing last night for several boats. It was really, really good fishing. We'll have all the details, including some weather information you're going to want to know about, but also what they're biting on and just how good it was, how big those fish are. San Clemente Island. Kicked out some exceptional yellowtail fishing. Is this the start of the springtime bite? Starting to get closer to summer all the time. But we're hoping this yellowtail bite is for real right now. We'll check out the full day boats out of San Diego. Did they connect with the bluefin tuna? And again, our island spirit, Land of the Giants video just dropped last night. What a trip we had with Captain Daniel Hottaway out of Ventura Sport Fisher. You're going to want to check that video out. We've got that and so much more, including lots of anchovies somewhere that might indicate, yeah, albacore. We're still on that. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Mmm. Mmm. That was a really big gulp of coffee. I needed that, and it is so lovely of you to spend part of your Sunday with us here on the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Here on the Morning Briefing, it is great to be with you tomorrow night. Don't forget, live Tackle Shop Confessions with Sam De La Torre. And we're going to have an awful lot to talk about, including taking all of your questions. Tomorrow night live, 6 p.m. from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California. Tackle Shop Confessions. All right, let's get into it with you all. Again, if you don't mind hitting that like button, we deeply appreciate it. Share these videos with a friend. Subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. We appreciate it when you do all of that and more. Hey, I mentioned just a moment ago, there's a ton of anchovies somewhere. There is so much more anchovy this year in Morro Bay than we have seen in previous years that it leads Tom Holland, Captain Tom Holland, to say, Albacore, very, very soon. So hang on, everybody. We've got this cool water, which Albacore like. We've got a lot of anchovy. We even have anchovy down in San Diego. I know the Half Day Boat Daily Double the other day had plenty of anchovy to fish with. And we mentioned that because Albies love to hang out where you find cooler water, number one, and their favorite food source, or one of their favorite food sources, the anchovy. So I know I've been wrong three years in a row. So what's another year of going down the tubes with you all? All right, let's jump across the border for a moment and check out what's going on down in beautiful Ensenada, 70 miles down below. And they continue to pick at the blue fan tuna in the daytime. The Pongaros down there have had some pretty darn good luck catching bluefin tuna and high hopes that that's going to continue. It's not an everyday thing and it's not every single one of the guys down there that gets them, but enough of it around, as you can see by blackfin sport fishing catch, that it is well worth your time to check it out. And hopefully it's just going to get better and better and better as we move along. Besides that bluefin tuna, which ranges from 20 to up over 100 pounds, it can be really big. There's fish on the Mad Mac lures. There's also fish like if you roll up on a foamer, you can throw a Daiwa Sakana type lure, Gold Sniper, 120 gram and get fish that way. Popper fish also, you can catch them all that way. Besides that bluefin tuna, as I digress, um, there's a little bit of yellowtail still hanging out there. That big bonito is still around town and plenty of rockfish to help fill the sacks. 
but we like what we're seeing in terms of that bluefin tuna. And I suspect that any day now, we should see a pretty good bite on Barracuda down in that neck of the woods or even here in the SoCal area. Our water's still pretty darn cold. We have a lot of this 58 degree water, but we're getting a substantial amount of 60, 63 degree water. So we slowly but surely creep our way up the water temperature charts in this now La Nina kind of year. We'll continue to watch it for you very, very closely. Heading down to Alijos Rocks. They'll be there tomorrow is the independence out of Point Loma Sport Fishing. I talked to Brian Pfeiffer, the captain of the independence, and they are steaming south to go see if they can get another bite on that 50-plus pound yellowtail. Not all the yellows are that great, but they had a significant catch on that big, great yellowtail last time. Lots of yellow fan tuna. Spectacular eight-day fishing as they head south. Just want you to know we're keeping tabs on them and so much more. All right, last night we saw some incredible fishing on the bluefin tuna. Not for everybody. I mean, just look from the wheelhouse of the Tribute, how many boats the light show last night. There's so many boats that there's so many different experiences from not so good to wide open bluefin tuna fishing. So keep that in mind. The weather was a little bit snotty, but getting snottier as we are coming to you here on Sunday morning. So you're going to have some snotty weather. We're going to talk about how you can change your tackle up to adjust to this weather that is coming up and seems to be worsening right now. In fact, some boats are starting to run tighter to the beach to get out of that really offshore snotty weather right now. American angler James Marcial was on there last night with his son Lorenzo. They said they had three fish over the 100-pound mark and a few more fish. They weren't quite sure how many. Didn't sound like it was wide open on the AA last night. The Polaris Supreme finishes up a three-day trip with spectacular fishing, 99 blue fin tuna and a lot of those fish up over the 100 pound mark that is good stuff we've got dave clark dear friedman adventures family member on board the searcher dave put on 120 pound blue fin tuna last night he said it was pretty darn good fishing they had one fish that went 220 pounds 16 fish last night on board the searcher dave clark reporting and doing a great job. And Dave says they're starting to move closer to the coast right now because of the aforementioned weather we just mentioned to you. Uh, Peter Slonsky, another great Freeman Adventures family member. Peter's on board the Islander. Wide open limits of bluefin tuna for the Islander last night. And Peter said it doesn't get any better. He had his limits of fish. And he said he had fish, I think, 10 over 100 pounds on that trip. The biggest one went 150 pounds. He had a fish fishing the Colt Sniper in the daytime. Nice fish there for Peter. Peter's a great guy and a wonderful source, and I can't thank him enough. Sounds like a really awesome trip on the Islander last night. The Pacifica, Isaac and Ethan Parcells are out there right now. Limits of bluefin tuna, and of course, you guys know Ethan and Isaac, they are such great Friedman Adventures family members, really good fishing. The weather's up a little bit for them, so you had to go to the heavier jigs. I'll get into that in a moment, but they had really great fishing, and it's so good to say Ethan, Isaac's son, putting the wood to these bluefin tuna and having so much fun. I should also mention the searcher had some kelp patty yellowtail on their trip. I think about a dozen or so. So that is something else to keep our eyes on. Hopefully that's going to continue to head in the right direction. A little bit of that kelp patty yellowtail starting to show up. We certainly have not seen any significant amount of it, but we're starting to see a little bit more and hopefully that's going to get rolling also. But some spectacular bluefin tuna fishing for some guys last night. And then again, as I mentioned, it's tougher for others. The San Diego fishing full day out of C4 Sport Fishing leaves in the morning, comes back that very same evening. They had one bluefin tuna yesterday, continue to see copious amounts of bluefin tuna, but the daytime bite remains very slow and very tough. They had 44 bonita to go along with it. You definitely want to have a fly line outfit ready to rock and roll with 40 pound fluorocarbon. We love the GT4 fluoro from Promar Ahi. If you want to knock 10% off when you buy it, go to promarahi.com and put in FA at checkout. But 40 pound floral and then 80 pound floral when you're sinker rig fishing. Sinkers, you want to have 6 to 12 ounce sinkers for that offshore bluefin tuna. 
And as we mentioned, Peter Slonsky, he had a fish on the Colt Sniper. So Dabo Sakana, or Colt Sniper, 120 gram, ready to rock and roll with that. And I wouldn't throw that with anything less than 60, even heavier than that if you can get away with it. I like fishing heavy on the jigs because it's a reaction bite. They're going to bite it anyway. You might as well hook them on the heavy tackle in that fish. That variety, that 20-pound fish, up to that big one on board the Searcher last night, that 230-pound fish on board the Searcher. You have got to be rigged up properly, 220. Sorry about that. So some really big fish lurking around still. We continue to see really excellent fishing at night, but we do have that weather starting to come up on us right now. Now, all of those guys that I talked to said that sometimes, or at times, especially with good weather, it was the smaller jigs that were working best of all, like 250 gram lures that were working really, really well. But with this weather, guys were switching over to 350, 400, 500 gram lures with, of course, 100 pound spectra or 130 pound spectra and 200 pound liter material to make it happen for you. These are big, tough fish. You've got to be properly geared up to make it happen. So what I'm telling you is have a variety of jigs. Right now with this weather coming up, for sure you're going to be have fishing that heavier stuff because you've got to know the exact depth that your jig is at. It is so integral to you getting a bite. Knowing where your jig is at and when you have really windy weather and you're drifting 100 miles an hour, you get a lot of scope. Your jig is way out and sometimes it's difficult to determine exactly where that jig is. So by fishing a heavier jig, hopefully you get down into the zone quicker and you're able to tell the exact depth you're at. By the way, that colored metered line will really help you a lot. Some guys just take a Sharpie and mark every 100 feet, but really essential to your success is knowing the depth where your lure is at. On board the Tribute, they said that while they didn't set the world on fire, there were several guys on deck that had limits of bluefin tuna, and they said the key was persistence. And it's tough, I know. Sometimes you drive around for three, four, five hours before they pull them back and say, hey, big jag of fish dropped down to 250 feet. And man, it's Johnny on the spot, the guy that is on the rail, and that means working hard, and it's hard to do. I know, especially when you get to my age, I wanna get my beauty rest. and. Uh, Stand up, staying, paying attention, dropping immediately when the captain tells you to drop. Those guys had limits on the tribute. It is a lesson for us all. Get some daytime sleep if you want to. They're not biting in the daytime. You know, get a buddy to come down and wake you up in case you do run into a jag of fish that wants to bite. But really essential that you are Johnny on the spot in the daytime. All right, so some really good stuff. Don't forget you can support the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. We need your support. We really do. By buying some merch, it would be great if you would go to embroiderycreations.net and get a hat or a shirt or a hat and a shirt or a shirt and a hat for somebody else you love also. It really helps the channel a lot. We can't thank you enough, all of you who have made those purchases. We deeply appreciate it. All right, let's talk islands. Coronado Islands down that way, pointing down south. A uh, little bit of yellowtail there. Good rock fishing. Excellent. Really great rock fishing. Catch all the reds you want down there. Also good Boccaccio and several other bottom grabbers. You're getting anywhere from zero to maybe 20 yellowtails. 20 has been a while since we've seen scores like that, but we have had them and they're biting the surface iron, the yo-yo iron, but most of that yellowtail right now is on the bait, fly line bait, 25 to 30 pound fluorocarbon. If you get away with 40 pound, by all means do so, and choosing a good hot bait really makes a difference. San Clemente Island, nice going. On board the Thunderbird out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach, Chef Marklin, with a good score of nice quality, big yellowtail, 19 yellowtail, a halibut, and plenty of rockfish. They also had some calico bass, as Clemente seems to be coming to life, and that is great news. Hopefully, it'll keep going. The Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, three yellowtail over there, so starting to see more and more yellowtail, and you combine that with that observation of the searcher catching some kelp paddy yellowtail, not enough to suggest that we're on the verge of a big yellow bite, but 
Fingers crossed. We're starting to see some more yellows starting to bite, as we mentioned to you yesterday on the morning briefing, and hopefully it's a sign of things to come. We look at Catalina Island, and at Cat, we continue to see some really excellent bonito fishing, occasional halibut, few yellowtail here and there, and good rock fishing. Again, water starting to warm up over there, so we're seeing some of that bonita and yellowtail, but we need just a little bit more tick up on water temperature and to get that thing going. But plenty of rockfish. El Patron has been doing great over there at Catalina Island. They've got trips where you lined up. And man, I'll tell you, they leave in the morning on some of their trips, come back in the evening, or they do overnight trips. And when they do an overnight trip, they're limited to only 11 anglers. Long Beach Sport Fishing, www longbeachsportfishing.org. And as I like to say, get on. The El Patron. By the way, I haven't firmed up this date entirely yet, but you might see it here later today. June the 24th, we're planning a great trip on the El Patron. It's going to be a 5 a.m. departure and a 7.30 p.m. return June the 24th. I haven't inked it quite yet, but as I say, later on today, I might talk to Chris Isaac and firm that thing up. But look for that, June the 24th, Friedman Adventures on the El Patron out of Long Beach sport fishing. That is gonna be a lot of fun. Santa Barbara Island, seen some good halibut fishing there with some occasional white sea bass. And the Channel Islands, wow, our Land of the Giants video dropped last night and it got hundreds, now thousands of views because it was spectacular. What a crew on the island spirit out of Ventura sport fishing. They are spectacular. It's just the office personnel and you've got of course, Tucker McCombs on the Endeavor and Cody Rogers over there on the California. Really great stuff up there at Ventura Sport Fishing. Check that video out. I know you're going to love it. A 13.5 pound Bocaccio, one of the biggest salmon grouper I've ever seen. And Red's pushing 10 pounds on this trip. It was so much fun. And again, all of you out there who were on that trip, thank you so very much. I deeply appreciate it. I know some of you are going to be on board with us on the Amigo. Wow, that trip looks good right now. Reverse 2.5 day trip, leaving at 10 a.m. June the 11th through the 13th. That is going to be a spectacular trip. Great fishing for rockfish up there in the Channel Islands as that continues to impress for many of the boats and landings up there in that neck of the woods. An occasional white sea bass, even a salmon the other day was caught. Sean Stewart was showing that fish off. I think it was caught on the Aloha Spirit or the Gray Light, one of his boats, but that's crazy stuff. That cold water kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So we are seeing some of that also. Really interesting stuff in the Channel Islands. Mostly rockfish right now, but spectacular rock fishing. If you want to load up with the finest eating fish in the sea, you could definitely do it right now. Tax problems, unfiled taxes, get them taken care of with Tim Marquez, Freedman Adventures family member, Tim's been doing this for 35 years. He'll make your tax headaches go away in an instant. He'll take great care of you. Give Tim a call today. And heating and or air conditioning needs. John Lopez is your man at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John's a great guy, and he's a guy that you can take to the bank. Give John a call today. All right, we continue to watch the surf here in Southern California as the surfers are having a ball and the birds are picking and the pelicans are hitting the water. Some good surf fishing up here. Good spot fin croaker fishing. Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. What's there? Yeah, you know, big fish bait and tackle. And just a little bit south of there, you'll run into a water tower at Anderson Street and Pacific Coast Highway. And they're putting the wood to the spot fin croaker down there right now. Really good fishing. It's a bait bite on spot fin. Rarely do you catch them on artificials like worms or you know, sand crabs are great. That all works really well. And there's some good spot fin croaker fishing. Tomorrow morning, daybreak. Daybreak is a high tide. So I would be here at 5.30 tomorrow morning or down there, I should say. And you will get bit. It will be good. I'll guarantee you that. It's been excellent bar perch fishing up and down the coast from the border all the way up to county line. I'm talking Ventura. We see bar perch all through here. Doug Tilk, who was on our recent trip on board the Island Spirit. It's been really doing well on the bar perch up there in the Santa Monica Bay around the Topaz Rock Jetty. There's a lot of Corbina right now, so that stuff is starting to show up. All of it is great 
stuff. And as the water ticks up, we'll catch more and more yellowfin croaker and more halibut also. Pretty good surf fishing going on right now in Southern California. Don't forget to stop down there at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. Check them out as they will get you all tuned up, whether it's tackle or bait or their free fishing tournament every single month. They give away a free, beautiful custom surf fishing rod. You can hardly beat it. So good stuff indeed. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? There is so much to watch for you here today. Bluefin tuna, yellowtail, good surf fishing, anchovies in Morro Bay. Does it mean albacore? Well, of course, I'm going to say yes. A lot of you are like, oh my God, here he goes again. What's in his coffee this morning? Uh, I'm thinking we've got a really good shot at the Albies this year. Of course, I've been saying that every year. But we've had good conditions. We've had that cold water. And this year especially looks like it could be the year where we break through. By the way, everybody, albacore does not mean bluefin go away. They coexist together just fine. So it could be a situation where you have Albies and bluefin. And that would be really awesome. Apollo trip, 2.5 days. Still have a couple spots available on that if you want to join us. But it's going fast with this good fishing going on. We'll watch everything for you. Continue to monitor. And, of course, I hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, my friends. <laughs>